And with increasing volatility and also downside risks to the global economy, how are companies navigating their way through? EY's Growth Barometer Survey asked more than 2,000 uh, business leaders across 30 countries exactly what drives their growth ambitions. And according to the survey, uh, talent is the top contributor to companies' growth strategy, twice as important as cutting red tape. Uh, the group of C-suite leaders also sees increasing competition posing a bigger threat to growth than geopolitical uncertainty and also trade barriers. Interesting. For more, let's get to Annette Kimmett, global growth markets leader at EY. Uh, she joins us now live from over in uh, Monaco. Annette, great to see you, and it looks beautiful behind you. I'm so envious, but uh, let's get down to business and talk about your EY uh, growth barometer. Uh, you know, the credibility uh, of any sort of uh, survey like this, I think, at least partly rests on uh, 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 the group or, or the sample size. In this case, I understand that uh, among the group of people that you talk to are uh, uh, previous winners of EY's Entrepreneur of the Year Award. So it's kind of like an old boys club, but, but it's much more than that. <laughs> well, it's much broader than that, actually. We surveyed 2,400, close to 2,400 leaders of mid-market companies from around the world, from 30 countries. Um, we also included in that cohort uh, nearly 300 of our past um, EY Entrepreneur of the Year winners. So these were um, really high-growth entrepreneurs who had some really interesting things to say about their growth expectations over the next 12 months. Were you surprised uh, when uh, uh, the returns came in and uh, they said pretty clearly that these uh, people who should know what they're talking about in terms of business uh, think that increasing competition is more important or is a bigger threat rather to growth than, than geopolitical uncertainty or even trade barriers? Yeah, look, that was one of the findings that really surprised us. We were expecting um, the, the seismic shifts that we're seeing going on around the world in geopolitics, um, in the rise of uh, populism, um, in threats around trade barriers. We were really expecting those things to come back as, um, as key risks around growth. Um, but what the, messi the message that came through was really that um, business leaders around the world are really treating that, that level of uncertainty as the new normal. And what came through loud and clear was that um, increasing levels of competition are seen by these business leaders as much more of a risk to their growth ambitions than, than the uncertainty. The uncertainty is the new normal. Indeed, okay. And, and these, uh, these people are also putting a very uh, high value on human capital, are they not? Yeah, that's right. Um, the key strategy that these leaders um, are really focused on for driving growth is really a focus on innovation. And that means investing in um, skilled, in highly skilled talent, um, and also in disruptive technologies like robotic process automation and artificial intelligence. But what was really interesting was that that investment in technology is really about um, taking away from the humans more process-driven work and freeing up the humans to focus on uh, more, the more creative side of innovation. So it was that twinning of, of human capability with disruptive technology to fuel innovation that really came through loud and, cl loud and clear as their main strategy for, for accelerating the growth of their businesses over the next 12 months. Okay, Annette, listen, fantastic talking to you. Enjoy Monaco there. Annette Kimmett, Global Growth Markets Leader from EY. Thanks so much.